in order to diagonalize this 2x2 two two matrix, we need to find its eigenvalues and then use those to find the corresponding eigenvectors. We'll take those eigenvectors and use them as the columns for our diagonalizing matrix P. Let's get into it. Beginning by finding the eigenvalues, we take the determinant of lambda i minus our matrix A, which looks like this. Lambda minus the entries of A on the diagonal, and then off the diagonal, we just have the negatives of the entries of A. This is a 2 by 2 matrix, so its determinant is straightforward. Lambda plus 11 times lambda minus 10 minus negative 36 times 3, so plus 108. Doing this multiplication gets us to this quadratic, which we can then simplify to lambda squared plus lambda minus 2. That's our characteristic polynomial. By setting it equal to 0 and solving, we find the eigenvalues. So lambda squared plus lambda minus 2, we set equal to 0, and we can factor it as lambda plus 2 times lambda minus 1. Hence, the two eigenvalues are negative 2 and positive 1. This is a 2 by 2 matrix, so having two distinct eigenvalues guarantees it will be diagonalizable. Also, now that we know what the eigenvalues are, we already know what the diagonalized matrix will look like. It will have those eigenvalues on the diagonal. So that's the diagonal matrix we're heading towards. But in order to actually find the matrix that diagonalizes A, we need to now find the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues. Beginning with the eigenvalue negative 2, we need to find a basis for the corresponding eigenspace. Hence, we need to find a basis for the solution space of this system. This coefficient matrix is just this matrix, but with lambda equals negative 2 plugged in. Negative 2 plus 11 is positive 9. Negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12. Any non-zero vector satisfying this equation is an eigenvector, so we have to solve this system. We can perform Gauss-Jordan elimination on this matrix. All we have to do is subtract one-third row 1 from row 2 and then divide row 1 by 9, and that gets us to this reduced row echelon form. There's no leading entry in column 2, so x2 is a free variable. Let's say x2 equals s. And then from row 1, we have that x1 equals 4s, and so a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to this eigenvalue is this vector here, just those coefficients of s, so positive 4 and positive 1. Now we have to do the same thing for the other eigenvalue, positive 1. Again, for this eigenvalue, the eigenvectors are the non-zero solutions to this system, where this coefficient matrix is just this matrix, but with lambda equals 1 plugged in. Again, we can perform Gauss-Jordan elimination. We just have to subtract 1 fourth row 1 from row 2, and then divide row 1 by 12. That gets us to this reduced row echelon form. There's no leading entry in column 2, so x2 is a free variable. Let's say x2 equals s. And from row 1, we have that x1 equals 3s. So the basis for the eigenspace just consists of this eigenvector, the coefficients of s. 3 and 1. These two linearly independent eigenvectors we can use to construct our diagonalizing matrix. Our diagonalizing matrix P has this first eigenvector as its first column and this second eigenvector as its second column. We also need to find P inverse, which is pretty straightforward. Just reverse those entries, so we have 1 there and 4 there negate those entries, so negative 3 and negative 1, and then we also need to multiply the whole thing by 1 divided by the determinant, but the determinant of this matrix is just 4 minus 3, so 1, so that doesn't change anything. So there's P, there's P inverse. In order to diagonalize A, we do P inverse times A times P, and it looks like this. Our diagonal matrix D is found by taking P inverse, multiplying by A, multiplying by p, and as we already said, the result will be this diagonal matrix, whose diagonal entries are the two eigenvalues of A. The first eigenvalue corresponds to the first eigenvector that we used in P, and the second eigenvalue corresponds to the second eigenvector that we used in P. And that's how to diagonalize a 2x2 two two matrix. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love, love.
stressed out, honey. I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what. Don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie. I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me 